Paul says to the Philippians, I hope to send Timothy to you shortly. We got to get out the big guns. Take a look at the map, see how it was with Paul and uh, Timothy. Stay tuned. All right, grappling with Philippians. We're still in chapter two, where Paul is going to talk about Timothy. This is fantastic. I found a picture. This is what Timothy looked like. This is a, it's a little faded because the Polaroids, when they're this old, uh, and, but Timothy, remember, is who Paul is with and who he sends him to. In fact, there's quite a story between Paul and Timothy. I got, I got an idea. Paul and Timothy, for, I think I need a bigger map. Okay, we gotta zoom out. Wow. How far out can I zoom? Can you see all that? I need to zoom out even further. Okay, how about this? Paul and Timothy probably met here in Lystra, which is where Timothy is from. And remember, he is the uh, son of a, of a Jewish woman and a, a Christian grandma, uh, a Jewish grandma, and, uh, and he's there. And probably when Paul and Barnabas came on their first missionary journey here, boop, and he, Paul preached, Probably that's when uh, the whole family, Timothy and so forth, became a, uh, a Christian. Well, Paul and Barnabas left. They came back here and they finished their first missionary journey. And then it's on the second missionary journey, when Paul comes over here to Lystra, that he meets Timothy, who's been in catechism class. And everyone says, boy, this guy is really something. So Paul, in fact, has Timothy circumcised there in in Lystra, and they go, and remember Paul's trying to get to Ephesus, the Holy Spirit forbids him, so the second missionary journey, they go all the way over to Troas, they, they sail up here, and then probably, when remember, Timothy's maybe too young to be thrown in jail, Paul's thrown in jail over here, and then he gets out of jail, and he leaves and he goes to Thessalonica, we don't know, Timothy maybe didn't go with him, he stayed back in Philippi, Paul went down to Berea, Timothy joined him, Paul is left he has to leave in the middle of the night, and he goes down to Athens. Timothy stays there, but then Timothy rejoins Paul in Athens at some point. Paul's by himself for a little while. Timothy joins him, and then Paul's so worried because he heard news about how bad it was in Thessalonica that he sends Timothy back up to check on Thessalonica. Paul, in the meantime, goes to Corinth, and Timothy joins him there, and then... Uh, and then it tells him about how things are in Thessalonica so that Paul and Timothy write 1 Thessalonians then, 2 Thessalonians then, and so forth. And then the, the, remember the second missionary journey ends. Paul's going to go back up this way, but he's on a boat here at Centria, and they figure out the plot to kill him. Oh yeah, he was going to sail, so he's off, and he travels back up. They're back down here. At some point, they're over here together. Now, we, we kind of pick up with the story on the third missionary journey, that Paul and Timothy are together at Ephesus, uh, and they and 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 here it gets a little bit unclear, uh, but they end up going traveling around third missionary journey. Uh, uh, Paul and Timothy presumably we we kind of maybe they're together this whole time, maybe they split up, but we're by time we're right getting to the um, to the letter to the Philippians, Paul and Timothy are over here in Rome over there in Rome together, and that's when Paul is writing uh, the Philippians, and he says, I want to send, there was a way, actually, there's a road that went from Philippi, like straight across, so you could get to Rome to Philippi really quickly, there, and you'd sail, and you'd across, and Paul's writing to the Philippians here from prison in Rome, and he says, I'm going to be released quickly, but I'm going to send Timothy to you. Presumably, he was going to send Timothy to the Philippians to tell them uh, how he was, how he was doing, and then Paul, Timothy would come back and report that, uh, to, and report that to Paul, how the outcome of the trial and everything. So that's so. So that is what Paul is talking about here in this particular text. Now, at this point, we lose track of things from the Book of Acts because Paul Acts ends with Paul in Rome. But we presume from First Timothy and Second Timothy, and uh, and some of the other letters that they traveled. Paul and Timothy traveled. Uh, back to Macedonia, back to Ephesus, and then Paul left Timothy in Ephesus. 
And he went and he traveled around to see a bunch of different places. He eventually ends up in Spain and then back in Rome. And he's writing first, maybe he's writing first Timothy from Macedonia to Timothy. He's writing second Timothy from his second imprisonment in Rome uh, to Timothy to encourage him uh, to remain. Now, tradition has it that Timothy remained there in Ephesus as the bishop of Ephesus until he was persecuted and martyred under Domitian, the same guy who exiled John, St. John to Patmos. It's an amazing thing to think that Timothy was here until St. John comes along and then Timothy gives up his bishopric or maybe he's dead and St. John takes over. But in the meantime, this text is Paul in Rome. Timothy is there either in Rome with him or hanging around and he's going to send Timothy over there to give them a report of the news uh, and how things went. Okay, I hope that helps. Okay. So, here is what Paul says. I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy shortly to you, that I may be a good comfort when I know your state. Now here, look, the Philippians are so worried about St. Paul. How are things going to go with him in prison? But Paul says, what worries me is not how I'm doing, but how are you guys doing? Still trusting the gospel and so forth. And then look at how Paul is going to describe Timothy. This is really consistent with how he speaks about him and in 1 Timothy and in 2 Timothy, my son in the faith, and so forth. I have no man so like-minded who will naturally care for your state, so that Timothy had this overflowing Christian love. For all seek their own. Paul is really feel, feeling the jealousy of the other preachers who were using his imprisonment as an occasion to benefit for themselves, but, but not Timothy. All these other guys seek their own, but not Timothy. But Timothy seeks the things which are Jesus Christ's. Now, what are the things that are Jesus Christ's? Life, salvation, the forgiveness of sins, uh, the church. So, so uh, Timothy is concerned not for himself, but for the sake of the church. You know the proof of him, that as a son with the Father, he has served me in the gospel. So Timothy is the son He's his father. And that's how Paul will talk uh, about Timothy. My true son in the faith, he calls him. He says, you, you, you're the one, I begot you by the gospel, and now you, um, you're like my own uh, child. Uh, re really quite affectionate. Um, to, to, uh, to Timothy, a beloved son, Paul writes. To Timothy, a true son in the faith. Beautiful. Him, therefore, I hope to send presently, as soon as I shall see how it will go with me. But I trust in the Lord that I also myself shall come shortly. So that not only will, will Paul send Timothy to let him know how the trial goes, but Paul hopes to come to the Philippians and visit as well. Now again, we don't, we don't know that this happened because the book of Acts ends with Paul here in Philippi in prison. Uh, but we do know from the letters and so forth that Paul uh, was able to travel around and probably was able to go and see the Philippians. So there you go. Philippians chapter 2, verse 19 to 24 and a history of how it was with Paul and Timothy. See you next week. Timothy is Paul's true son in the faith. What a beautiful picture. We rejoice that we are also begotten by God through this word of St. Paul and the preaching. Thanks for grappling with me. I, w I wonder if I adjusted this lighting, if, if I could make my beard look darker. That's better.